Something I've been noticing a lot of people talk about is Jay possibly being the weakest Yonko. Well, I have to disagree. Now, I understand the points that are made. One of the things that people like to talk about when saying Jay is the weakest Yonko is that Kaido has the, his army and the fact that he can't die. Big Mom can take people's heads and have tremendous influence. And Blackbeard, of course, has the Dark Dark Fruit and the Tremor Tremor Fruit and is even collecting more Devil Fruit. So what people need to understand is that even though we haven't seen anything from Jay, Looking at it from a story perspective, and from a marketing perspective, and a writing perspective, he has to be the strongest or the second strongest Yoko, and there is no way he is the weakest. Oda is a writer, and as a writer, he has to please his fans. If Oda were to make Jen the weakest Yoko, if Jen doesn't live up to the hype Oda has created, the backlash would be catastrophic. Remember this year, if we show up and stand like, oh yeah, but Big Mom can get in my ass, I'm more, she's stronger than me. People are going to be pissed. And also, why would Oda make Shang so built up and so epic in so many freaking ways? Just to make me the weakest. I just don't understand why you would hype up a character to such a level just to have to be the weakest. When you hype up a character, you have to make them live up to that. And also, Jen doesn't have many feet. But the feet he does have are pretty damn impressive. Jake single-handedly stopped an attack from Akainu with ease. Jake was also able to travel from the New World from a battle with Kaido to Marineford. Granted, we do not know what happened in that battle, but you have to consider Jank arrived at Marineford unscathed. He wasn't injured at all. In fact, him and his crew appeared to be in full fighting condition and were so confident that they believed they could take on the entire world government, the entire navy. In a battle with their small crew, no allies, just Shanks and his main crew believe after a possible after a possible fight with Kaido and traveling halfway across the freaking world that they could take on the entire navy and all three admirals. They were confident. Also, Shank talked to Whitebeard as if they were equal and Whitebeard did the thing. Now, Whitebeard may not have been the strongest man in the world when he died, I did a whole video on this, but when I really think about it, he was definitely stronger than Big Mom, in my opinion. Just, I'm almost positive Whitebeard was stronger than Big Mom. So this is the kind of thing you need to understand, is that Jake does not have a lot of feet, but the feet he has are very impressive. Jake is also sparring daily with Dracula Mihawk. So yeah, I believe Jank is, uh, is the strongest Yoko, or the second strongest. Whether that is a whole other video entirely, which I may start working on after this. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And remember, above all else, to have a great day, guys.